Hello friends, hello again. This is a wonderful time, wonderful time. I'm going to talk about the resurrected life. We have finished Resurrection Sunday, haven't we? Oh, and now a resurrected life. Oh, we're going to talk about all that Jesus did for us and the new life he gave us. So it is an honor. It's an honor. Thank you, Jesus, for this honor to come on this TV program on OCN and whatever nation you are in. What an honor to talk about what Jesus, you did. What, Father, you did in sending your only begotten Son for us. I thank you all for this resurrected life resurrection power that is working in us only by your grace heavenly father and jesus christ i thank you jesus that you guide everything i say today out of my innermost being will flow rivers of living water living water of truth of your word what an honor so i bless you anyone that's here yeah, that you are hearing. I'm going to be in the book of Romans, and it's rather deep, or what is it? Oh, I could talk a long time. But I uh, read a book. It's called The Normal Christian Life by Watchman Nee, this Chinaman. God bless him. He's in heaven now. But boy, he paid a terrible price. Oh, terrible? Oh, well, he went to prison. But he spoke, and he spoke, and he spoke, and he taught, and he ta taught, and he traveled. Oh, I read the story of his life, but now I forget many of the things. But anyway, paid a terrible price. But watchman knee, a watchman on the wall, and he paid, and he suffered for Jesus. But his life is a living testimony. And what the, he wrote it deep, the normal Christian life. I think it's a lot of pages. I didn't even know if I read the whole thing. But anyway, he's in the book of Romans. Romans. Paul wrote the book of Romans, didn't he? And it's deep. Oh, it's logical. It's logical. But anyway, I won't start from the beginning, but I'll just talk first of all about the blood. It's what Watchman Nee has talked about. The blood of Jesus deals with what, what we have done, whereas the cross deals with what? Uh, we are. The blood uh, dis, disposes of our, disposes of our sin, while the cross strikes at the root of our capacity for sin. The cross goes to the root of our capacity for sin. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. You know that all have sinned way back from Adam. All of us have sinned. Uh, we inherited this evil nature, evil nature. Uh, but, oh, but God had a plan, didn't he? Way back before the creation of the world, before the foundation of the world, he had a plan because he wanted a family. He wanted a family, and Jesus knew about that. He knew about that. He knew that all of these things that were going to happen, but yet he came. He came for you and me. Oh, what a blessing. What a blessing. Okay. All of sin fallen short of the glory of God. His purpose is, his, his, um, now he wants to put the glory on us, he said in Isaiah 61, is it 51? <laughs> that the glory will be on us when this darkness increases in the world, that the glory will be on us. And as we submit to him, uh, let's see, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than having been justified by his blood, we b will be saved from wrath through him because oh there is a wrath coming there is a judgment coming on the unbeliever oh god hell was not created for the uh, for the unbelievers but for the angels that disobeyed disobeyed god in heaven lucifer disobeyed and took out one third of the angels there and they're watching they're watching but there's a host of heaven watching over you dear friend 
watching over your nation. There is a host of heaven watching over you, and he's going to watch over you, take care of you. Mm, sin caused us to be separated from God. This is Romans 5. Shall we go there? Romans 5. So we're going to go. I don't know how fast we're going to get there. I don't know, but it's going to be fun because it's going to give us a redemption. It's going to show us, oh, how great a blessing he's given us. How great a blessing. Let's see. Uh, we say from the wrath of God, I read that. Therefore, um, because all have sinned. Okay, here, 517. <laughs> I love this verse. For if by the transgression of the one, death reigns through one, and much more those who receive the abundance of grace. Have you received abundance of grace? I have. We have. We have. Abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness, the gift of righteousness, will reign in life through one Jesus Christ. Oh, so I'm just uh, believing right now that you're going to uh, receive an abundance of grace, an abundance of grace. Oh, and then you're going to receive it and know that he's going to walk you through any trial that is coming your way. Whatever, whatever sickness, whatever devil has planned for you, you're going to walk through it because we have an abundance of grace. We have the gift of righteousness. And I reign in life through one Christ Jesus. Okay, and then verse 20. The law came in that the transgression might increase, but where sin increased, grace abounded all the more. So we see the sin on the streets, don't we? We see the, uh, the uh, do you see that in your country? Oh, God, that breaks my heart. Some of these things that are happening to the babies and uh, at the border, and, and but grace a, nor sin abounds, grace will abound all the more. And that as sin reigned in death, even so grace might reign through righteous, through, through, through righteousness to the eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Oh, yes. So, let's see. Now, let's go to 6 verse 3. Do you not know that all of us have been baptized into Christ? Jesus had been baptized into his death. Oh, here we're talking, oh. But before a resurrection, there has to be a death, doesn't there? Isn't that what happened to Jesus? There has to be a death. <laughs> oh, yes, there was. When we came to Jesus, we knew we said, oh, we are a sinner. We are a sinner. I did. I made a mistake. I made so many, but thank you for the blood. There has to be a death. Buried with him through baptism into death in order that as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, so we too might walk in newness of life. Uh, for if we have become united in him in the likeness of his death, certainly we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. So this is what he is saying. Oh, we have to die to ourselves. Oh, this is hard. This is hard. Like, I can't do what I want to do. I can't spend the money. Oh, when the COVID was going through, I got to wear a mask. I got to do this. I have to do this. And God says, I'll, I'll give you the grace. I'll help you through it. I'll help you through it. I, spend more time with me, he is saying. Spend more time with me. Oh, in the death to ourselves. Oh, maybe some of you have lost your job and the government has promised to come on through and help you. Has it? Oh, and you're thinking, well, uh, what's happening to my nation? What's happening? Oh, and maybe you think, oh, I wish I lived in America. I could be given some money. No, that's not guaranteed. Oh, but you need to look to Jesus. The truth is here in the word. He hears the cry of the afflicted and the needy, dear ones. He hears. Oh, you're reading Psalms. You read that. All of in the book of Isaiah. You want a word from God? You spend some time alone with him. In fact, even I'll just go into, oh, even early this morning, I, I kind of tossed and turned because I, I want to be accurate with you. And I think, God. You said in Matthew 6, oh, uh, I don't know what I need, Matthew 6, if you know, uh, uh, go into your room and shut the door and go listen 
for the Lord knows what you need. And this is a father, and he is going to reward you. Matthew 6, 6, 7, and 8. He knows what you need. And I said, God, I need wisdom. I need wisdom. I cannot do anything without you. It's only by your power that I can preach. Only that I can. I want to make sure. So, oh, and I want, he wants to do that to you too, friends. He wants to give you that gift of righteousness and that relationship. It's all about a relationship that Jesus died for you, for a relationship with, with the Father. Okay, if we become um, united with him in the likeness of his death, you're going to lose some sleep sometime. You can't sleep. You're tossing and turning. Go to the Word. Get up. Go in the other room. Find a quiet place and say, God, I need help. I don't even know what to pray for. He knows what you need, dear one. Okay, certainly we shall also in the likeness of his resurrection. So I feel resurrection power. Oh, maybe I, I didn't get, no, maybe I, I didn't get eight hours of sleep. But I can manage. I have resurrection power. He said he'd give that to me when I spend extra time with him. When I spend extra time praying in tongues, my spirit is built up. That's the resurrection power he's promised you, dear friends. Knowing this, that our old self was crucified with him. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Crucified with him? That the body of sin might be done away with that we should no longer be slaves of sin. Whatever we worshiped, we were slaves. Oh, as children, we were slaves of flesh, weren't we? Oh, we want to eat this. We want to do this. We want to have these friends. Oh, but we had to learn. We had to learn to obey our parents. We had to learn. Oh, we had to go to church. Sometimes I didn't want to go to church. We didn't have a car. We had to walk to church in the snow and in the rain. We were poor, my father left, and oh, but God was good, God was good. My mother turned to Jesus, and we were blessed, we were blessed. Okay, the old self was crucified with him. I did not know about that, but as I, as I got older, I found out, oh, I made some mistakes. I have not to be crucified to myself. I have to surrender to God. I have to surrender to God. So I would crucified, that sin done away with, and we would be slaves. We used to be slaves to sin, to the flesh, to our own mind, to our own, what the world would put on us. Oh, you need something more. You need this, and you need this, and you need this. That was one good thing when we went to teach in the jungle. Oh, those people were happy, and they had almost nothing. And we thought, they're happy. They're singing songs about Jesus, this Koran and people that we went with. Oh, our mind changed, and that, but they can be happy without things. Things are not going to get, make you happy. We've had some things. We've had a new car, but is that enough? Oh, what is enough for us for right now? We can share. Uh, freed us from sin. Now, if we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. This is the resurrected life he has promised us. Uh, verse 10, for the death that he died, he died to sin once for all, but the life that he lives, he lives to God. This is the life, the resurrected life I have in God. Even consider yourselves to be dead to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus. Um, let's see, verse 13, do not go on presenting your members oh, to death, um, to, to yourself. Okay, let's skip over now, right, uh, let's see, um, what, 623, wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. But the grace, he talks about the grace in there, the grace in there. So I'm going to go on to chapter 8 right here. Dear friends, I hope you got your Bible. There is therefore no condemnation because the devil is right there. He's uh, uh, condemning you. Oh, you're, you, you've uh, 
So many times you disobeyed God. So many times you disobeyed um, your parents. Oh, and the, the evil thoughts that you had. But he said, now that you died with Christ, you died to yourself, he said, now there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and death. The wages of sin is death. But we die to ourselves and we are not going to hell. We are going to heaven because Jesus paid the price with his resurrected life. Oh, yes, let's go on here. For what the law, the law could not do, weak as it was through the flesh, God did sending his own son, the likeness of sinful flesh. Uh, okay, let's see now. Verse 5, 8 verse 5. For those who are according to the flesh, we still have that opportunity to put our mind on the flesh, don't we? Oh, we think we want this, we want this food, we want this, we want that. But if we set our mind on the flesh, um, but those who are, uh, let's see, for those who are according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who are according to the spirit, the things of the spirit. So we need to put our mind on the spirit. Our mind is renewed, as I talked in Ephesians 6. Our mind is renewed. Uh, for the mindset of the flesh is death, but the mindset on life is peace. Uh, but now, now I remember an um, example, I think that was from Watchman Nee's book, uh, being a new creature in Jesus Christ, um, that our flesh has to die to itself, our mind has to die to what we want to do. But he gave an example, I think that was, and I want a little star here, let's see. It was uh, about a woman um, who, a woman who, who let's see, I talked about the resurrection. We were baptized into Jesus Christ's death. Now his resurrection enters me, giving me new life. I in Christ and Christ in me. Um, and it says, give the example of a grafted tree, a, gra a tree grafted, uh, and where the branch grafted into the tree. And there was a woman, he gave the example, um, who had her skin was burned so badly, her skin was burned so badly, but there was an opportunity she should get somebody else's flesh. It was a foreigner, he said, accepted a foreigner's skin, and it was grafted into her arm, and it grew. It grew. Can you believe that? Ah, some skin foreigner another person's skin grafted into this burned woman's arm and it took and it was accepted okay so the example is i live by the life of jesus christ i was grafted into the vine i have a new life a new life isn't that a miracle can we see that God made those laws of, of life, life. Oh, he lives in me. I have a resurrected life. Uh, I have the weapons we talked about, the weapons, weapons. Oh, and the helmet of salvation, the gift of faith, a resurrected life. So, um, but he wants us to abide in him. Okay, let's go on and see where we go. Okay, let's go. Um, I have a new life. I have new skin. I have a new heart. I have a new mind. I have the mind of Christ. For the mindset of the flesh is death, but the mind and the spirit is life. Because the mind and the flesh is hostile toward God. It's not pleasing. It's not righteousness. Now, verse 9. However, we were not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If indeed the Spirit of God dwells in us, but if anyone does not have the Holy the Spirit of Christ, he does not belong to him. Okay, now, verse 10, if Christ is in you, uh, your spirit is alive because of righteousness. But if the Spirit of truth, the Spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, this is the most important scripture, I'm going to leave you with 11, 8, 11, 
raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you. He who raised Christ Jesus from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through the Spirit who dwells in you. So there is a new life, a resurrected life available to us. We, we live it out. We speak it. We say, God's word is truth. Even though I don't feel it right now, but I have the faith. My faith overcomes what. And if we were surrender to him, this new life we have in Jesus Christ is the power of God unto salvation. And we can give this to others. Oh, Jesus didn't get the people born again. He taught them and he taught them, but he was not able to get them born again because his blood was not on the altar. He didn't, un, he didn't, was not able to tell them that. They can be born again, but we can do that. We have the good news of resurrective life. We were in the kingdom of darkness, but now we are in the kingdom of the Heavenly Father. We have resurrected life. Dear friends, I declare to you um, that you have the shield of faith. Oh, you have the helmet of salvation. You have the word of God in your life that we are dead to sin. Yes, we can, the devil cannot keep accusing us. Uh, we are the helmet of salvation. So I declare you are, you are justified by faith. And he, Jesus always lives to make intercession for you. He lives to make intercession for you. And he's made you more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ. He's made you more than a conqueror. Yes, we know we all have tribulation. But God has overcome the world through his son, Jesus Christ. So I declare you are set free. You have a resurrected life. You are the power of Almighty God. Thank you. God bless you. Come and give. Give to OCN and be a blessing that you were created to be. God bless you. We love you. Come again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give the glory to God.